Knights and Sith Lords, and welcome to Star Wars Artifacts. My name is Dominic, aka Lord Doom, and today we'll be reviewing the Capitono and various credits used throughout the galaxy over different eras. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and smash the like button to help me continue my work. You can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All the links are available in the description below. The Camtoto was sold since last June when Celebration 2022 was held in Hanaheim. It is sold for 50 US dollars or 70 Canadian dollars. As for the credits, each set is sold between 30 and 35 US dollars. For now, there are five types of different credits. All of them are sold in Dakar Dars and of Antiquities. And after talking, let's start the review. If you don't mind, we will begin with the Camtono. This object was seen for the very first time on The Empire Strikes Back. When the Empire starts to take over Cloud City, the citizens are seen fleeing the city. One of them is dressed in an orange jumpsuit and is holding a Camtono. This character will eventually be known as Wilro Hood. Now, each Star Wars celebration has a parade of cosplayers dressed as a now famous character. The first version of the Camtono was made from a Hamilton Beach ice cream maker. With time, the design got updated until we got the version we saw in Seasons 1 and 2 of the Mandalorian series. Alright guys, now that we have covered its origins, let's take a closer look at the Camtono. For those who hadn't understood it yet, the Camtono is basically a safe. Obviously, this version should only be considered a toy. To unlock it, you will need to use the three dials located on the top. By default, the combination is the dial the closest to the handle pressed six times. If you enter the wrong combination, the light will turn red. When the right combination is entered, the light will turn green. The only thing left to do is to turn the handle to open the three panels and see what is inside the Camtona. You can also configure your own combination. To do so, you need to press on the light and hold it down for 3 seconds. Once you do so, the light will turn green and blink rapidly. Then, you will enter the 6-digit combination of your choice. Once you have completed this operation, the light will stop blinking. Once the camp tunnel is opened, you can discover the treasures it is hiding. In this case, I chose to put all five different types of credits I bought at the same moment. A little orange LED light adds a little bit of ambience and realism to the Camtono. That said, I would have loved for the light to be a little brighter. The Camtono is powered by three AAA batteries. To replace them, you will need to access the battery compartment located under the Camtono. There is also an on and off switch next to it. Now, let's take a closer look at the five different types of credits. Let's start with the calamari flans that, as you probably have guessed, were the currency on the Mancala system. So, it was always useful to have some on your position in case you had to deal with a Mancalamari or a quarry. This set has six pieces as opposite to four for the other sets. Each piece is made of a hard and shiny plastic. They are blue colored with multi-colored reflection. It is the only currency sold for $35. All the others are sold at a price tag of $30. The Mandalorian coins were the currency of Mandalore during the golden age of this civilization. As for the following sets, it has four pieces. One gold, one silver, one bronze, and one copper. 
in the middle of each piece, you will see a Metazor skull. The Galactic Credits were the main currency during the times of the Republic. As a matter of fact, we got the opportunity to see some on many occasions in the Clone Wars animated series. They have a rectangular shape and come in two different sizes. They also have various patterns of squares and rectangles at the center of each piece. The Imperial Credits replaced the Galactic Credits once Supreme Chancellor Palpatine reorganized the Republic into the First Galactic Empire! Oops, sorry, I guess I got carried away. Back to business. The orange writing at the bottom of each credit correspond to the letters R, O, W, E. Unfortunately, I was unable to discover the meaning of this abbreviation, so if you happen to know its meaning, please let me know in the comment section below. Finally, here are the New Republic credits. Those credits saw the day after the defeat of the Empire to the Rebel Alliance. Each piece has different shape and size. Some pieces have Oremesh writing on them, that means the Declaration of a New Republic. As for the three previous currencies, each piece is made of metal and is of excellent quality. Behind each box, you can read the following text. There are many different types of currency used as a medium of exchange throughout the galaxy. If you don't have the opportunity to purchase some credits, you can simply insert an amethyst geode in your cantono and boom, you're the owner of some silicax oxalate. Overall, I don't regret at all purchasing the Camtono and all the different types of credits. As for the Camtono, I would have liked a little bit more weathering marks, both on the outside and the inside. Those with a more artistic touch will be able to fix this pretty easily. The credits made of metal are absolutely amazing. I love their quality and how realistic they look. However, I would have liked if the calamari flans had been made of a squishy rubber instead of plastic. It would have given it a more realistic look, closer to what we saw on the screen. What are your thoughts on the Camtono? Which type of credits is your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. If you like my content, feel free to share it on your social media. I'll see you next week for another review. And until then, may the Force be with you, always. Remember, the Force will be with you, always.